Hey guys, welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry, and today we're having a look at this awesome little Bluetooth audio transmitter. It's the Zennheiser BT T100. This little thing is amazing. So let's just do the unboxing. I'm gonna run through what's in the box. Then I'm gonna run you through connecting it all up. Along in that process, I'm gonna run through why this little thing is incredible and why it's got raving reviews and why it's going so well. All right, so opening up the box, we have the transmitter that is in here. So here's the transmitter in here, very light. Your analog cable for the audio, your micro USB to USB used for powering the device. This is your optical cable. Okay, this is like your quick guide that's in here. It's a safety guide. And that's it. It's got the analog 3.5 millimeter in. The next option, you've got your input select. It allows me to connect the analog and the digital at the same time to two different devices and I'm able to switch between. Okay, so I could have that connected to the TV and the analog connected to the amp or amplifier and I'd be able to switch between the two if I wanted. That's an option it gives you. It does recommend in the book though that you do connect it via digital optical in for the best quality. So the USB power, it does give you a micro USB to USB plug. It runs on the five volts uh, for power so you can connect it to your TV or any other source that runs five volts. If you could plug it into your TV, it's brilliant because you just turn it on, power will be there and you just run it as you need it. Now. Having a look around, there's pretty much nothing else other than that except for the actual on and off button here. And this is a multi-function button as well. Okay, so connecting the actual optical cable, you've got to make sure you remove the actual cover to it, okay? There you are. And then once you've done that, it pretty much should just plug in quite easy, quite simple, nothing too crazy. As you can see there, 3.5 mil auxiliary. Ah! Sorry guys, <laughs> there we go, we got it. And that pretty much just goes in simply as well like that as you can see, and for your power, micro USB, you could break it, especially if you got it the wrong way around, look, I just had it. <laughs> okay, there we are, and then that's it. So now I'm just showing you the back of the TV and how we're gonna plug this in. So I've got the 3.5 millimeter jack, okay? So we're gonna plug that in first. That goes here to my TV, as you can see. So all you do is you simply just plug it in. This is after we've already connected the unit here. The next bit is we're gonna go for the optical. And we'll just get that in there. You hear a little click, and now your power. And this is what I love about this. It's USB powered, look at that. All right, there we go, nice and easy. So this is pretty much all set up and ready to go. Hi guys, this is Harry, and it's two and a half years later. Believe it or not, I made the original video in 2021 of May, and now it is November 2023. So you've watched the unboxing that I did two and a half years ago, and now what you're gonna see is how I've been using these. And as you can see, the Zennheiser's still here. A few little things have changed, and I brought another pair of these awesome JBLs. But just to show you how long it's been, that nice pleather, that's, that was, it was the blue one. <laughs> it's all gone, so we've just got the soft material. And it still works, no problem. We go pairing mode in on your headphones first, okay? Now, we're gonna set it in pairing mode, and as you can see, it's in pairing mode. And then what we do is, don't want to lose this. We hold this down for four seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, till it's in pairing mode. Now it might not connect the first time, it might. Okay, let's just see what happens. Okay, do you hear that? Dun. That means it's connected. So these are now connected to the device. Sometimes it might go red and not connect. You just hold the button down again for like two seconds, because if you hold it longer, it'll switch off and then it's ready to go. Okay, so as you can see, we've got them connected. You could probably hear some audio coming out of it. So we're gonna connect the second pair, and with the second pair, you just turn on your second pair of headphones into pairing mode, and we'll just let that connect. Okay, there we go, or go into pairing mode. And then once it's in pairing mode, you just go back to the same button that you press to connect the blue ones on the Zennheisers. So I'll just bring that there. Hold it down for a few seconds, 1001. 2002, 2003. Oh, ah, I held it too long. Hang on, hang on. Let's do this. We'll just turn them on at the moment. <laughs> okay, hang on. 2001, 2002, 2003. So these will connect to those, which you probably just heard that. Oh, there you go. See how it's turned to purple? And it's just connected to these as well. Jeez, that was easy. Can you hear that? On this one and you can hear it on this one 
And if I turn one off and leave only the other on, it'll go back to blue, which tells you that only one will be working and one is connected. Watch this. Because these are still on. You can hear them, obviously, and this one's off. I've just turned it off. See how it goes back to blue? And now, if I just press this and turn it back on, watch. It'll auto-connect itself and that'll turn to purple. See the color change? And it's that simple. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Also, if you've got any questions, post them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Hit the notification button as well so you can see future videos coming up. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Also, be blessed and have a wonderful day or night wherever you are.